You know what? I'm not having such a good time right God now. Here. Damn. Here, man, here. Okay. Answer A, Peter Hooten, released in 1978 on CBS. You know what, man? Let me just stop and say, you go to hell, man. What I do? I didn't know it was going up You wrote these here. questions. I did. You wrote them. I didn't know I was going up against a comic book nerd. You should have, you, you know. He didn't look at me. He's just, he just, he's just so happy. At, you didn't I hate looking at that little yeah. smile. <laughs> Welcome to What Do You Know, the show where a robot and his human sidekick quiz guests to find out what they know about movies, TV shows, comic books, and video games for a chance to win cash prizes. See rules of the game in the description below. Chris no, Ayers, everybody. You know Chris Ayers. How you doing, oh, Chris? Hey guys, how's it going? Chris, I'm looking at you, man. Chris, are you trying to pose for us? Are you leaning back on that? Why are you looking like a centerfold model right now? You trying to? Are you trying to get a sexy lean for us? Yeah, man. No, no, I'm just... This Are you hearing stuff. voices because you're looking around all over the room? He wants us to paint him. One of those French girls. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Chris, how you doing, man? Christopher Ayers, that is. Not sure. Right. To there's too many Chris's now. Yeah, way too many Chris's. I'm doing pretty good. You want to tell people about yourself? Uh, not much to tell. I'm like the rest of you guys. I'm a movie nerd, and I love this site, and I love watching you guys with each other and with other people. All okay. right then. Well, you come to the you come to the right place, sir. Let the f commence. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm, Get which ready. Includes, Brace yourself. <laughs> yes, it actually might be doing it to myself because yeah. this man is so nice and nerdy over here yeah, that I he is. think he's a little bit too prepared for the Doctor Strange trivia. That's right. Why we're actually doing Doctor Strange trivia? Mm. Well, main reason is because well, I told this man to do the trivia today. You did. Of course, he went off and did something nice and nerdy. But the other reason why we're doing this is because everybody's talking about that latest episode of What If? It's changeable. changeable. Who are you? Do you know Doctor Strange? I do, yes. I've seen the movies he's been in and I've read some of the comics. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay, well, we'll All see. Right. We'll see. You never know. Damn. All right, then. <laughs> well, let's just go ahead and get this over with. Let's then. do it. All right. All right, then. Question number one. Can you read that for me, sir? Yes. Created by Stan Lee and Steve Ditko in 1963, Doctor Strange has served as the primary protector of Earth against magical and mystical threats. In what comic did the character make his official debut? A. Journey into Mystery, number 83. B. Strange Tales, number 110. C. Tales of Suspense, number 39. D. Sorcerer Supreme, number 2. Or E. Doctor Strange, number 1. All right, then. Five, four, three, two, one. What do we got? B. Strange Tales. Uh, Strange tales. You know what? You answered that a little too quickly, man. All right, I can tell this is done. <laughs> it's not gonna go my way. He's like that's that one. I already know. <laughs> you got it right. No surprise here. Yes. What's the answer? Yes. In his first appearance, Doctor Strange aids a man plagued by horrific recurring nightmares. This issue was a split book, included a story about Human Torch as well. It should say Strange Tales. Strange Tales. Oh, let's see. Question number two. I actually got this one myself. Oh, did you? Okay. It was a guess, but I got All it. All right, we'll let's see. Let's go ahead and see how he does with this. Okay. Dr. Stephen Strange has taken up residence in multiple dimensions, time periods, and places across the Marvel Universe. But what is the street address of Dr. Strange's Sanctum Santorum? Is it A, 221B Baker Street, B, 56B Whitehaven Mansions, C, 177A Bleecker Street, or D, 616 Greenwich Village? All right, what is it, man? It is C, 177A Bleecker Street. <laughs> what are you? What are you so happy stuff. about, man? He knows his. You know what? Got it right. Know it. You know what's worse than being a nerd? An what? arrogant nerd. Uh, Shut up, man. Take your little stinky ass right answer right here. There you go. Here you. Here it is, right? Just tell the answer, Dan. Okay. Correct answer C. One seven seven A Bleecker Street. Doctor Strange and his friend Juan take up residence in a mansion referred to as the Sanctum Santorum by many magical beings and superheroes alike, and it was always been located at one seven seven A Bleecker Street, Greenwich Village, New York City. Oh, geez. Maybe I need to move to one seven seven. Yeah, I know you could be there. <laughs> Just let you guys do the game. I know. We're pretty, hey, we're having fun. Take myself to another dimension. I, listen, if I knew what the questions were going to be, you know, going up against him, <laughs> I would have made him a lot harder. I, I mean, just know. look at him. You know, I did I mean, not know. Hey, like, just look. You you can tell he knows all I these nerdy know ass it's questions. going to be him. Look at him. <laughs> I see that, yeah. Damn nerdy glasses. I know. Little I know. nerdy cup. Mm. 
Do any of these get harder, man? I feel like they do. All right, then we'll see about that. Okay. Question. Oh, shut up. Question number three. <laughs> All right. Doctor Strange and his various supporting characters have been adapted for television and films, but who was the first to portray the character for a live-action film? Was it A, Peter Hooten, B, Bandit Cumberbatch, C, Vincent Price, D, John Vernon, or E, Bryce Johnson? Oh, look at him now. Now he's confused. He's staring hard. I probably not that you got him with this one. Let's What's see. the answer, sir? I want to say it was Peter Hooten for the 70s TV movie. You want to say it, but are you saying it? Are you saying it, or who you? Who you God saying it. damn it! Why don't you say something? Here, man, shit. shit. <laughs> you know what? I'm not having such a good time right God now. Here. Damn. Here, man, here. Okay. Answer A, Peter Hooten, released in 1978 on CBS. You know what, man? Let me just stop and say, you go to hell, man. What I do? I didn't know it was going You wrote the these here. questions. I did. You wrote them. I didn't know I was going up against a comic book nerd. You should have, you, you know. <laughs> you didn't look at him. He's just, he just, he's just so happy. At, you didn't I hate looking at that little yeah. smile. <laughs> Answer A, Peter Hooten, released in 1978 on CBS. The made for TV movie starring Peter Hooten was meant to be a film pilot for a TV series. Though the network was already airing The Amazing Spider Man, The Incredible Hulk, they decided not to pick up Doctor Strange as a series. Somebody should cancel his ass too. He's doing well. He's you doing know what? Well. How, how did you get this, man? This is like this is this is old shit. He clearly seen the film. He knows of it. Have you seen the old film that this is in, that this is from? Uh, I've seen most of it. I had trouble remembering the actor's name until so that was just a while. Okay, ago. yeah, whatever, man. Here, yeah, this is. How, how did you Damn. get? How did you get this <laughs> old shit right here? Modern hospital good. may seem worlds apart from the days of ancient sorcerers. This is where those worlds collide. And this looks like porn. Yeah, it kind of does. Yeah, I was just going to say, he's even got the stash and everything. He's got the perm and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the uh, nightmare begins. Yeah, look at him. Like, sure this is a founder of the fame method. Quite simply, it unlocks the. Man, this is a porn right here. This ain't. Oh, wow. That's, how, that's why Chris Ayers saw it, because he thought he was watching some <laughs> pornography. <laughs> All right, here. Yeah. Just go ahead. I mean, just start giving away the three for three here. so go far. Ahead. Whatever. Okay. In designing the eye of Agamotto, creator of Doctor Strange Steve Ditko drew inspiration from what real world charm? Is it A, the unwavering eye of Ra, B, the abyssal socket of Vishnu, C, the all seeing eye of the Buddha, or D, the Asir's eye of knowledge? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now let's see if you got this one. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, C, the all seeing eye of. <laughs> <laughs> you! What's going on? He's doing a really good job, Corey. What's going on? He's, he's he's nerdy. What do you? It's what you 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 even say at the beginning. He's like, like a nerdy looking guy. Not like, that nerd. damn nerdy. That he well, knows Buddhism too. He knows Buddhism, man. He's a, he's oh, a Renaissance so, nerd. Oh, shut up. You know here. Well rounded in his nerdery. Oh, just damn man. Just take it in. Correct answer C, the all-seeing Eye of the Buddha. The Eye of Agamotto made its debut in an eight-page story in Strange Tales number 115. Its real-life inspiration, the all-seeing Eye of Buddha, is also known among Buddhists as the amulet of snail martyrs. I just want to get this over with, man. Just take it. You got this. I, you, I already know you have this, but just take it, man. Okay. The voice of the villainous Dormammu is a blend of Bandit Karmbatch's voice and what other actor that is? Not what I wrote. It's not what I wrote. That's not what you wrote? What is that? No. Oh. Oh no! I know. I changed it. Okay. Well, it's what I what what if. I shortened it because it was pushing letters off the screen. It's uh. Okay. Oh, let me it's, see. That's it? not going to be right. Oh, is it not going to be right? Yeah. That's why. I, yeah. Ah. Okay. Then. <laughs> well, good. Then maybe he'll get it wrong. <laughs> The villainous Dormammu is a primordial interdimensional entity and ruler of the Dark Dimension in the 2016 film Doctor Strange. Bennett Cumberbatch's voice was blended with that of another uncredited British actor to create the ominous being's speech. However, the producers also had another actor record a voiceover for Dormammu that was not used in the film. Who was that actor? Was it A, Mark Hamill, B, Tony Todd, C, D. Bradley Baker, D, Kevin Michael Richardson, or E, Phil Lamar? You know what? Is that confusing for you? No, I think I got it. It is B, Tony Todd. Yeah, he nailed it. <laughs> you, he nailed it. It he got didn't it. even matter. Yeah. It didn't even matter how it was written. The way you wrote it wouldn't make any goddamn sense. All right, you know what I want you to hey, put the hey, put those hands up and put them up. Now stick them up your ass. Damn. This guy right no, here. Thanks. Oh my god. Yeah. 
Read them. Get Correct going. answer B, Tony Todd. Although Marvel eventually went with Benedict Cumberbatch and uncredited actor's voice for Dormammu, Tony Todd did a six hour session that went unused. There's still hope for me, though. There's oh, yeah? still hope. There is still hope for me, but we'll get to that in a minute. Go Let's ahead. See. Hey, be, I don't even feel like playing anymore. The, the dumbass beach ball of fate. Here you go. Cheap ass beach ball of fate. You got, what does he have? Five spins? He has five spins. Five spins? Correct. Yeah. Oh, hell. Admiration. I'd keep that if I were you. Because I have very little of it for you right now. Well, you want to keep that, right? Yes, I do. All right, then. Well, if you're keeping that, you just don't have to use those four other spins, right? Uh, you answered all these damn questions and now you're said, confused. He said he keep that. He he said he keep that. I remember all what right he said. Then. All right, admiration it is. Admiration it is, my friend. <laughs> Just had those four spins and said, you know what? No, I'm, I'm gonna sacrifice I'm gonna, them all I'm, for admiration. I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead. <laughs> Does that mean that we're not gonna do any uh, bonus round? Bonus round. Bonus round. Let's see. Yes. If it was written he, the way I wrote it. See, he won't be actually <laughs> smart <laughs> as he thinks. All right, well, he had that admiration. He took that. Yeah, he took it. He's like, all right. Doesn't mean he can do double or nothing for anything. Nope, but we can do the bonus just for hell of it. All right, then. Let's see. We do the bonus spin. See if you can earn a bonus spin and see if you can get more than an admiration right there. All right, then. Okay. We usually save the hardest questions for last, but somehow, some way, you two are, like, nerdly, telepathically linked together. I think this one, most people wouldn't know this, but again, Chris Ayers, I don't know. He knew he knew about the 78 film, so at this point, he probably will know this one, all too. All right, then. All right. Let's get this over. Then. All right, then, sir. There were attempts to bring the Sorcerer Supreme to cinema as far earlier. Which director was first signed on for the unmade 1992 cinematic adaptation of Doctor Strange? Was it A, James Cameron, B, Guillermo del Toro, C, David Lynch, D, Wes Craven, or E, John Carpenter? Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, D, Wes Craven. <laughs> six for six. <laughs> Got them all. <laughs> you did this. I, hey, man. You did this. I, I, I know what you I wrote. You did this. I know what I wrote. <laughs> Go ahead. Correct answer D, Wes Craven. In 1992, a Nightmare on Elm Street creator, Wes Craven, was signed on to write and direct the feature film of Doctor Strange for Savvy Pictures, but the studio went bankrupt. To, uh, uh, to, 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 to whoa, whoa, to whoa, whoa, <laughs> to whoa years to later. whoa years later. <laughs> to whoa. <laughs> good old 12, oh, my favorite good. number. <laughs> old 12 over there. How t how's t Wo doing? <laughs> 12 years later. Good old t Wo. <laughs> Have to say though, I am, I am, I am impressed at your knowledge here. We hardly Thank ever. You. I don't. Have we ever had six for six? I feel like this is the first time that's ever happened. So did this man just make history? I think he made history. So if we can say the first person to ever get all the questions right was Chris Harris for DT trivia. If we ever do like really? a about the what do you know show. I think that you're the first person to ever get six questions correct in yeah, a row. Man. Yeah, pretty good. All correct, huh. that is. Mm -hmm. If there is a God, <laughs> if you were listening to me, I would take my legless ass to church every week, every week. You ain't doing that. As long <laughs> as you keep this man from winning the grand prize of here. Get, cut me a break, <laughs> Lord. Cut me a break, please. Love. Love. Well, you know what? <clears throat> That's actually pretty good because I was hating you for the longest time during this game. <laughs> now he has to give you love. Yeah. You're forced to give it now to him. Now I'm forced to actually love you. You want to take that love? Uh -huh. I'll, I'll accept it. Oh, Thank you, Cory Bot. Oh, right well, you there. got it, man. You got it. I, I love that you did that you did not take any of my money, man. You definitely, that is honest to God earned love right there, man. Woo! Thank you. By the way, Lord, my fingers were crossed. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Chris Ayers, mm. would you like to give a speech? Uh, Yeah, sure. I am the best. Uh, fuck all of you. Damn. Thank you for having me on. <laughs> so humble. So wow. humble. <laughs> wow. Such a humble guest. I really, you a know victim. what? I, I am back to hating this guy. Yeah, there you go. You take I back thought, that look. I thought he was gonna talk for a long time, and I could at least give him the award music to get off the to get off the stage. But he didn't <laughs> give me that honor right there. Wow, he 
even gives good speeches. Yes, I suppose. <laughs> kind of asshole speeches. Short but... and succinct, I will say. Very succinct. Well, there he goes, people. Bye, Chris Ayers. Chris Ayers, ladies right. and gentlemen, set history today. Yep. Made history by having every question answered correctly, including right. the bonus question. We appreciate his knowledge. We appreciate him coming on and showing us his nerdiness. And also what I appreciate most is his lack of humbleness. As he was also the first person on the show to look at the audience and say, fuck all y'all, I win. <laughs> That's pretty much it, yeah. That's one of the history books there, Cory Bott. Something that Cory Bott would be proud of. There you go, Chris Ayers. Hold your head up high and get the hell off my computer. Bye, Chris Ayers. Hey everyone, did you have fun? Then remember to like, subscribe, and if you want to try your hand at trivia, hit us up at our email address provided in the description below. Thank you. Bye.